What's up everyone, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today I've got a quick guide for you in Star Wars Jedi Survivor on where to find all of the 12 fish so you can complete the mini game for Scuva Stev and have this wonderful cinematic tank full of all sorts of rare fish. Just real quick, to clean the tank you just catch more fish. That's it, you can't actually clean it yourself. So let's get to it. First fish, number one, is going to be the Finger Glip Garpon. You can find it here in Rambler's Reach Outpost. This is right near where you start. Once you've found Scuba Stiv, obviously, this is uh, where you can speak to him here. So every time you see Scuba, speak to him, he'll catch the fish, and you'll add it to the aquarium automatically. Next one here is in the Rift Patches, Rift Passage, also on Cobra. You can see short distance away from Rambler's Reach. So the best way to do this is to get a lot of the fast travel points early on, so just explore most of Kobo and then go through catching these a bit later. So this one, you actually come up here for the story right up to this door, but you don't actually go up to this point. You come down there. So once you get to that point in the story, just go up. You can catch this one here. That's the Big Mouth Far. The next one is the Sea Fish. This one is in the Foot Foothill Falls. Again, not far from Rambler's Reach. This is another area I think you go to for the story, so you should be able to find him relatively early on. Next one is up is in the Devastated Settlement. Now this one's quite difficult. Uh, this is all story area, so when you get to this area with the story, you will know it, uh, and you will be able to get to this area quite easily. It's just near the right at the end of the story, you go up to that little building you just saw up there. Just use the flyer to come down here, and you'll find Scuba and the Rayfish. Next up is the Snakefish. This is on... Jeddah, you can actually find this one as soon as you come to Jeddah. You don't need any special powers. You come out of the archives and you're supposed to get on some mounts here for the story. Instead of just mounting up and leaving immediately, just run to the side. Jump up this little platform here and you'll see Scuva behind you in the water looking to catch the snakefish. Make sure you speak to him. I forgot it a few times, found him and ran off. So make sure you speak to him every time. Next up, we have the Fantailed La. This is on the Crypt of Irma. Now again... The story will take you very, very close to Scuba here. Um, you'll be able to see him. So just, you'll be able to see him from up there, but you won't be able to get to him this way. Yeah, not this is a shortcut back. So follow the story through, and you'll see a little puzzle in there called the Crypt of Irma. Um, we've got a guide for that on the channel. So if you can't figure out the puzzle, check that out, and you'll see Scuba down here. Speak to him to get the fish. Next up, we have the Barbed Hookfish. Uh, now for this one, uh, there may be another way in there, but I'm not sure because it depends on how far you've progressed in the story, whereas this one works as soon as you can get it. So you need the mount to get in here. Use the mount to double jump up onto the building. This is in the in in the reach, the uh, the central hub. You can then open the front door. You need the boost power to get through there. Um, that's about 10, 15 hours into the story. You unlock it on Jeddah. So keep progressing through the story on Jeddah to get there. Then you have to work your way through all of these caves down below. Um, and you reach uh, sort of there's a quite a complicated structure between the reach uh, underneath in the in the caves. There's quite a few little areas you can access it from various different points. Um, lots of the caves are accessible until you have certain skills and abilities. That's why I showed you this route rather than one of the other routes because I think it's the one you can get to earliest. I'm showing the full route for this one because it's not really, you can't really tell when you sort of elevate the map up or down, it becomes a lot harder to find stuff. So you can just follow me through as I'm doing all this exactly and you'll find it no problem. So you need the boost ability there. You need a double jump boost, double jump boost onto the running wall. And then boost through again on the other side. So you're trying to get through to the large sort of main section, which you can see just ahead of me here. Once you get to the main section, all you got to do is look down and you will see Scuba Stev down below you somewhere in the water. Uh, I've already got him, so he's gone. Uh, next up is the Me Fish. You can find this one here, not far from Rambler's Outpost. You want to go up to Mountain Ascent. The nearest meditation point is the Mountain Ascent one. So again, if you've already explored a lot of the map and you're just catching these up, it's easier just to find the nearby point. You have to go through two green doors to get there and then jump down here to speak to Scuba again. Next up is the Glotsam Crab. Uh, this one's kind of hard to see on the map, but it's in the swamp. Once you get to the swamp, you'll know the position. It's it's blatantly obvious where the swamp is when you get there. It's part of the story. You will see a house that has a side quest in it. The house isn't part of the story, but again, 
you, you literally can't miss it. It's its heart. It's the only heart in the entirety of the swamp, and you'll see Scoover just down by the gooey, swampy stuff. Lava goo. I don't know what that stuff is. Next up, we have the Viscid Lurker. See, again, you can see here we're not too far from Rambler's Reach Outpost. You want to travel up this path up to here, up to the Foothill Falls, and then go in the uh, basement below the abandoned shack. And you follow the basement, you follow the path all the way down. It looks complicated, it's not. It's just a single path to get to the bottom. The nearest uh, fast travel point is the Fonky Caverns. Once you get right down to the bottom, you will see Scuba down there next to this little tiny pool of water. The map's kind of great on this and it's kind of hard. It works sometimes really well, other times you can lose yourself a bit quick. Next up, we have the Frilled Newt. This one is actually probably one you can find very early on. This is one I found as I was mopping up late game. So it's right near the start of the game, the Gorge Crash Strike. So you can see Rambler's Reach is all the way over here. Whatever level you're at in the game, you've already got this fast travel point. So you can simply just fast travel point back to the Gorge Crash Site and you'll see Scuba right next to it. This is one of the areas you come into like two hours into the game, right, right at the start. And that's the Frilled Newt. So the last one we have is the Blue Finned Crayfish. This is another one I got while I was mopping up. This is at the Jower Settlement or the Bygone Settlement as it's called. Simply head to this location here and you will find it. There, guys, that's all 12 fish. I hope we helped you out today. If we did, do like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care now.